Welcome to the LibreOffice Tips and Tricks. Today I would like to show you how to uh, make a PID controller in a system which can be described by a differential equation. I will use the result of the previous video uh, where we created the calculation for a free closed flow system uh, where we had the input stream and the output stream was provided by one centimeter diameter holes at the bottom of the container. It was a dish, a simple kitchen dish was simulated with 28 centimeter diameter and the water level uh, was increasing up to 0.35 centimeter with a steady state. Uh, I would like to decrease a little bit the number of the holes uh, around uh, the bottom. So not 65, I will calculate with 30 and you can see that uh, the water level is increasing up to uh, higher than 1 meter, 1.3 meter approximately and still not steady state. So anything below uh, is something we can reach uh, with the model. And I will insert some rows to separate a little bit the new uh, thing, the new calculation, uh, the PID, I need the reference value. What water level I would like to adjust? Let it be 0 0.4 meter, let's say. I would like to adjust this water level and I will calculate it as reference. The PID values will be proportional, integral and derivative. And values will be here as 111 initially. I will mark them that these are the new values compared uh, to uh, previous video and the previous calculation. So this is the part what I will use and the reference value is already given and the PID will be PID proportional with the name, the integral will be PID integral and the PID D will be PID derivative. Okay, I prefer always using names instead of the dollar signs and the cell references because it is more easy to follow the equation. For example, here, the differential equation calculation you can see as it is much more readable. Here in this calculation, the input stream is coming as a constant value from uh, here. And this we will replace uh, as a result of the PID response. The PID will calculate the difference between the reference and the current water level and the proportional and integrative and the derivative response. So we will have a new input uh, stream in cubic meter per minute and okay and we need cumulative uh, differences for the integral. The proportional and derivative can calculate it, uh, can be calculated from these values but the integral not it uh, has to summarize in time. So the first will be the reference minus the current water level multiplied by the time resolution. The time resolution is given here. It is very important to uh, subtract the current water level from the reference because this way, for example, the empty puffer tank will result a positive value. It means that uh, we will have a positive water flow, the stream, input stream, which uh, will fill the puffer tank or the dish. The next cumulative value will be the previous plus the reference for the current row. So uh, the reference, my combination, minus the current water level, the difference in time, and now I can copy this formula until the end of the column, and here we can see. Now comes the PID uh, response, exactly what we were looking for. The PID proportional will be the reference minus the current water level, plus the integral I can already calculate uh, with the cumulative difference I entered here. It is in E11. Ah, 
sorry, it is E12. Okay, so now I have it there. Unfortunately, the derivative I cannot calculate right now because no previous data before the first. So I can do it only at the second time. So at the second, I can enter that plus the PID derivative multiplied by the difference uh, of the reference and uh, the two time point and their differences to each other. So finally, I can subtract uh, from the second the previous and then divide by the time resolution. Now you can see the first two response from the PID controller and we have a slight problem that these are higher than the input stream, what is the maximum flow uh, which can enter into the uh, dish. So we have to modify it. For example, the maximum uh, will filter everything uh, between 0 and uh, above. It didn't change it, of course, because 0 or our calculation. Negative value is not suitable for us because we cannot fill the water back to the tap. Only the tap water can flow into the uh, dish. So the other will be, this was the maximum, and then the minimum of input stream or the result of the calculation and now you can see that yes indeed we use the combination of minimum and maximum functions to make a so-called band pass filter or saturation filter uh, which will restrict our calculation result between the input stream the constant value and zero i have to repeat it in the second line as well so the maximum of zero and our calculation result will be the first step and then I will enter again the input stream and the result of the previous one. So the combination of minimum and maximum function will do this. Now it includes everything. It includes the current uh, uh, difference with the proportional, the integrative part, and the derivative part. So I can copy it at the end until at the end. What to do? Uh, now we calculated the input stream response according to the current water level and now I can replace this constant value, the constant input stream, to the response of uh, the calculation of the PID. It is D12. D12. So I can enter it here. And now you can see what became uh, the result of the PID uh, controller, uh, how it uh, starts to adjust the water level to 0 0.4 with the 111 uh, values. And you can see indeed that it is uh, overloading a little bit, but then uh, fluctuates around 0 0.4. Now we can start thinking about uh, how the PID is working. The proportional is a general sensitivity, but integral and derivative has an uh, influence in the timely behavior of the system. To optimize this, I will insert uh, a new figure, a new chart below the other one. And I will use uh, the calculated input stream. I will make a similar figure like the previous one, scatter plot straight lines. I know what it is. I will make title for it. The grid lines. I like very much grid lines because they help uh, reading the values. It is more easy to follow what happens uh, with the data and during the simulation. So if you can do, please use grid lines. It helps a lot. And we finish at 20 minutes. So it would be nice to have the end of the chart also at 20 minute. And I will insert the titles because in the x-axis we have the simulation time in minute and the y-axis the input stream, stream cubic meter per minute input stream, yes. 
So now I have uh, the figure. I will adjust the size similar to the other one to fit both figures into one chart. Maybe, okay, now they have the same size. And uh, how to do this? Now you can see that uh, the PID controller response is not really optimal because of this uh, turning on, turning off uh, behavior. It is just a, an on-off uh, controller. And if I turn off the integral and derivative, you can see that the proportional is already too high. If you see something similar to the barcode here, it means that the PID controller is too sensitive. The proportional is too high. It looks very nice that it is jumping up and fluctuates around the target value, but the input stream cannot follow this turning off completely, turning on, uh, maximum turning off completely. Uh, actually, for a long time, no engine can follow this. Uh, there will be mechanical failure. So we have to optimize these values. For example, what will happen if I decrease 0 0.5? Now it looks a little bit better, maybe 0 0.3. Oh, it's even better. So now you can see what should be an optimal response. Uh, go up uh, to the desired water level until we reach it, and uh, you can see what is the steady state level of the water level, and what is the steady state uh, input stream, which can maintain the water level at the given uh, value. Now the problem is that we are a little bit far from the 0 0.4. If we want exactly 0 0.4, we have to adjust something. Maybe we can increase it a little bit. Uh, it changed somewhat, but uh, didn't get closer to 0 0.4. So we have to adjust the integral and derivative parts. Now what happens if I change the uh, integral to 0 0.5? Oh, a big overload. Everybody will swim in water around us because we overload uh, more than half uh, to the height. And after that, it returns. So this is a good idea to have an integral part, but not as high as I entered. Maybe 0 0.01 value. Oh, it looks better and it looks almost optimal. Uh, wow, we are lucky. It seems that P and I uh, proportional integral could be enough. But uh, if you want to play with the derivative part, it can help uh, controlling the fluctuations around. Maybe I will end at 0 0.1. How oh, it didn't help. So what happens if I decrease its value? It's a little bit better, more smooth maybe uh, than before. 0 0.001. Oh, it didn't change. So maybe 0 0.01. Uh, or turning off can be how oh, it didn't change. So it seems that right now the proportional integral already can solve the problem. How to have the 0 0.4 uh, meter, uh, 40 centimeter water level in our kitchen dish and we can see what is the uh, input stream which can maintain this water level in the steady state. So this is how to make a PID controller and you can see that the equation is very simple. The proportional calculated with the difference, the integral with the cumulative difference and we have a derivative also with the change of the water level. Thank you for your attention.